I've mentioned before that I like to try different shit, uh, both mental and physical stuff. And a lot of times I'll try it, and it'll work really well, and then it'll fall apart the next time I try it. So I'll table it for a while, I'll maybe eventually come back to it if I thought it had some merit. There have been a few things like that in my physical style, I guess. Styles are a really weird, weird word for me because it, it does seem to change an awful lot, even uh, even if I'm not working on something on, on purpose. It just uh, does seem to change. But anyway, what I'm doing now, tonight, and a little bit yesterday, is this thing that Ronnie O'Sullivan does, which I might have described a little bit before, and this is just was my interpretation, and the interpretation of this guy uh, makes snooker videos called uh, uh, Break From Life. Break for Life, Break from Life. One or the other. Makes a lot of videos, really good ones. And, and he did an analysis of Ronnie O'Sullivan and determined that what Ronnie was doing on his final backswing, he was not coming back, pausing, and then stroking. He was not jerking like that. He was doing a much smoother motion, which this guy called a wheeled piston. I thought that was a pretty good description of it, where it, it was like a circular motion back there. This is an exaggeration, okay? But yeah, a circular motion where the hand never stops moving on that final backswing. And it just kind of goes. Again, exaggeration, because I'm, I'm exaggerating it to make sure I remember to do it, was basically the deal with me. I'm coming back and, and bringing my grip hand down to kind of force myself to remember to do that circle. So I don't come back here and I accidentally pause. I don't want to pause when I'm working with, with this thing. I'm just trying to, well right now, I'm trying to make the damn nine ball while talking to the camera, and we see how well that's working. I'll make it this time, by God. I know I've said that before. Ah, it's not the, it's the nine's fault. It's not my fault, it's the nine. So, we won't use that anymore. We'll do the four. Yeah, see, I know it was the nine's fault. And so I'm messing with this, and it's fun for me because, like I said, a lot of times I'll start messing with something, and I'll shoot really well for a while with it. Like, you know, this is cool. And very rarely that we, that will carry on to the next session, the next session, or whatever. I've had things that I've done that you know stuck with me for a couple of weeks, and I really think I'm on to something. Then, usually in my case, I'll fire up the camera. And make a video for myself, you know, secret of pool right here. I finally figured it out. Usually, as soon as I do that, that's when it decides to fall apart. But in any event, it's still fun for me. It's fun to make balls, and it's fun to feel like oops, it's fun to feel like I'm improving something, even if I'm really not. A big part of this, I believe, is I'm just. Something wrong to five, two, five and a nine, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. So this this motion that I'm doing is different than my regular bank stroke and is definitely affecting my speed. I don't think it's affecting my accuracy, which I would have expected, but I don't feel like it is. But it is absolutely affecting my speed. Um, and that's so something you have to get used to. And about the time I get used to it, that that's the time it'll fall apart. And, and that's fine. I used to be I used to be disappointed when stuff would fall apart. Now I guess I've outgrown that and now I, I expect it to happen so it doesn't really bother me anymore. I just you know, keep milking that cow for as long as I can until it dries up. And then I'll go on to something else. You know, this time last week 
I was doing what, well, what, it's what I call a dippy stroke. And again, I might have mentioned this before too. I make so many damn videos and I don't remember what's gone on YouTube and what hasn't. But there was a movie out a uh, million years ago called Pool Hall Junkies. And the, the protagonist of that movie who was an actor, I don't think a pool player, for some reason he had this very exaggerated dipping motion on his stroke. Yeah. And I said, hey, I want to mess with that. That's something to mess with. So I ended up calling it the dippy stroke for that reason. And I'll be damned if that, this dippy stroke, it works very well for me for banks. And there's been a lot of times where it's, it's almost seemed magical for banks. And it's fun for me because it's like I'm not even doing it. I'm just totally giving it to my subconscious. And I can just be a spectator and, and watch the banks go in. And it, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. That was really weird. I had a weird sound that time. Did you all hear that? But the problem with this dippy stroke, and I found this out in 2012, I went to, a, I went to Derby City and I played exclusively with the dippy stroke. And I had a pretty good bank tournament. Uh, and in one pocket, I absolutely stunk up the place. And what I realized and what I found out and what I haven't been able to fix since is that this dippy stroke does not work for straight in shots. For regular shots, I mean cut shots, it doesn't. It works for banks. It doesn't work for anything else. Uh, unless I'm down here just practicing to say mess with it, and then I can, then I can put balls in when I'm not not talking to the camera. Then I can put balls in with the dippy stroke. But I can't get you know the shape that I want. Something always happens. But that's just cool. I wanted to just talk a little bit more about this Ronnie Rock thing because one of the things that I have. I don't really want to say struggled with, but one of the things that I've tried to pay a lot of attention to is what am I doing when I when I actually stroke the ball on my final backswing? It, again, is it back in the pause? Is it back in the jerk? Uh, and now is it this? I seem to have been over the years inconsistent, especially with the pause thing. You know, but, the way that I've been shooting banks here recently is a pause up here, pause, and shoot the, and stroke the ball like that, and not draw back in the kilo. But there's de a definite pause, and I used to actually count to one, where I would get on the shot, one, and then stroke the ball. Wow. But. Sometimes I don't have the concentration to do that. I know I've made videos about concentration. And sometimes I don't have the concentration to be back here for what seems like forever waiting to shoot. So I'm always looking for something different. And a lot of times in the past, that something different has been jerk at the ball because I can't concentrate for any other length of time. But I'm thinking that this, they call it, they call it on one of the YouTube matches that I watched, one of the snooker matches, they called it the Ronnie Rock. Maybe it's a British thing versus an American thing, whatever, but I think that's probably the stupidest name for maybe any phenomenon that's ever existed. But you still catch me saying it every now and then just because that's what the, announcers call it. I like the wheel piston motion better. Um, the only other play that I think of that does it, and I know there are going to be a lot to do it, is uh, Shane Van Boeing does something very similar. And I'm not a big fan of Shane because I don't play a lot of the, the rotation games that he plays. But he is a beautiful player to watch, his stroke and all that. And he does something similar where it's always moving. It, there's no pause and there's no jerk. And I like that. I guess a beautiful player to watch. I like it when I miss more shots than I make. But 
that, that's apparently what's going to happen. And I'll just have to get over it. I've got, what, two months, a little bit more than two months to get ready for Derby City. The Derby City tournament is kind of what my year is about. I don't play in a lot of tournaments. I don't even, I don't even go places and play a lot. This year's, you know, been a little bit more. But for the most part, I'm practicing all year, trying to get ready for Derby City. Not so I can get in there and win the damn thing or anything like that. But to have fun, hang around pool players, you know, hopefully shoot well, things like that. I've got a little bit, a little bit more than two months to try. My damn is to get ready for Derby City this year. They didn't even have it last year, so it will have been two years. And so I realize that I should probably pick something physical and stick with it for two months. And I know myself well enough that I, I'm not going to guarantee that's going to happen. Um, I mean, I'm going to turn off this camera, though, and, and start doing this wheel piston stuff where I don't have to bring my concentration and talk. And it'll work for a little while. I'm expecting it to work for at least for tonight, and I'll be shooting really well. And if it falls apart this time by this time tomorrow, that's perfectly fine and perfectly expected. I'll move on to something else. This is just the way that I apparently have to be. I cannot, I'm not allowed to have a consistent physical style. And so, you know, there we go. And that's, you know, my cross to bear, I guess. And thanks, guys.